Today we will talk and touch a little bit about tuning and uh, <clears throat> I will prepare a special video on breeding spark plug risk. It's quite complex. Uh, you can ask several guys at the racetrack how to read spark plugs. They will, they all will give you different, uh, should we say, advice on how to read them. And what I suggest is that if you know the class real well, and you, pr you pretty much know where everybody's at, and then they go to a high altitude racetrack on a hot day like Barona, and uh, if everybody else is losing half a second, six tenths, seven tenths, and one guy is only losing three tenths on what normally they would run, I would look at that guy and listen closely to what he may be doing correctly. All right, so. When everybody else falls off half a second or more, and then one guy's maintaining three tenths, uh, I think uh, he deserves to be a closer look. Watch over that guy, okay? So anyway, today we will touch basis on what to look for, not necessarily the spark plug segment yet, but just the car itself, okay? So uh, follow on. This is the color of the collector. If you note, the same usual very light gray, almost light blue color on the collector signifies your burn is pretty close to ideal. You will only do this if you're quite not that good on reading your spark plug precisely. Okay? And, uh, I have a video of this thing on the car right after this and look at it closely. You can do this especially on motorcycles, go-karts, you name it. But same thing with race cars, drag cars, road race cars. If you see this is sooty brown or darkish brown color, more likely what it shows here, your spark plug is going to show the same thing. Okay, take note please, and uh, once, let's say you don't have time and the, and the temperature is changing drastically, uh, you don't have time to pull the plug, just glance at that thing, okay? If it started, it's like that all day, then suddenly the sun went down, now it's super, super cold, and you're looking at that, more likely you might be super lean at that point in time, so beware, okay? video next and also before I forget the reverse could be true if you've been running all day and this collector is dark okay dark brown or on a shade of brown then suddenly it's hot and goes to cold sun goes down now it's going to be super cold and you're going to run leaner. Consequently, the dark coloration here in the collector turns a lighter shade of light brown to perhaps gray when it self-corrects due to the change in elevation or density altitude. So I suggest you guys learn how to read the spark plug. A quick glance to that thing. If you don't have time to, to pull the spark plug, if it's running, brownish on that particular time during the day when it's hot then now suddenly the sun goes down it starts to get cold or or cooler significantly that will change color to a lighter shade telling you you're going on the leaner side of the air fuel ratio okay don't forget guys going down the track, guys. Brad, why do you put the jack under there so we can put the wood underneath that thing Check that exhaust pipe, the color of the exhaust. I'll show you how good the tune is. Okay. 
good racing for the weekend. We are back. Packing all our gear. Put it up on the trailer. Another technique <clears throat> when you're not really that good at reading spark plugs, especially for you motorcycle people. Disconnect your collector, take off your, your header pipe, and look at the color of your exhaust port. This is very light gray or medium gray with a tint of light, light blue. That signifies it's burning real good. Okay? Very light gray there, not dark gray, with a tint of light blue. So you disconnect that and look like what the, this engine's gone through. We pulled it off after we made a bunch of passes. It's time to freshen up. I wanted to look at the exhaust ports. Same thing here. Now the head is gone, is out. You can see the light gray. Slightly bluish on all of them. They're pretty much even coloration So that's one way of knowing besides <clears throat> Looking at your collector looking at your header pipe is another um, Well Quick tip that you're burning real good. All right a lot of people I know read spark plugs better look at the color of the collector I think that's another option that you could look at and determine if you're really burning real well okay let's continue okay we continue on reading spark plugs anyway since we're not on the spark plug thing yet but alternatives to reading spark plugs through the collector color or cylinder head exhaust port uh, color is an indication if you are right on or very close to your ideal airflow ratio air fuel ratio now here is a picture of a spark plug set that's our first run second third fourth and fifth but look like this probably got switched but anyway <clears throat> I just put this together for pictures the reason for this is we can after a fourth run or a third run we start seeing issues with a certain cylinder like in this particular case that's that cylinder right there we can refer back to the other ones to see if it's getting worse or progressively getting worse now that is a good indication uh, besides reading what your EGTs are saying this is a better way of really looking at because you can look, look closer to porcelain and see if you got any speculas or anything like that but that will be for our later uh, video the next ones you'll see here is when, and I stated before on my Facebook post for years, you get to the end, you cut clean so that you don't put any rich coloration here or anything like that, or you're running nitrous, you come off the gas and then you let off the nitrous uh, <laughs> switch, that'll color it uh, somewhat rich. Okay, so. Um, <clears throat> Make sure you come off the nitrous and then before you come off the, the gas so you have a clean cut. All right? And if it backfires or after runs, then it'll, it'll colorize your, your reading and it'll be inaccurate. Now, on the uh, preceding videos, there will be some pit action that you'll see that after a pass, we pull the car back into the pits through the golf cart. All right? We cut clean on the end. You pull it back or push it back to the pits and immediately uh, pull the spark plug and start reading. Take note on the left of the or the right of the picture to the left of my left or to the left of me you'll see a little uh, gadget that a red gadget that checks our density altitude for the given uh, moment. Okay so we can do finer adjustments and try to keep up with everybody else. Anyway, as soon as you see that, we refuel, do all the checks, and new spark plugs are in, or sometimes on NA, you can run it several times. On nitrous oxide, I don't even attempt that. Okay, so we put it, 
spark plugs in the same proper order or if not a new set and then uh, put, put the uh, hood back on and gets pulled back to the starting line so this is just a little extra to show uh, everybody what we do in between rounds okay thank you You still have the radio on here, Brad? Yeah, I just left the water. Okay, so we're going to go. We're ready to go. We're going to do it. How fresh I can? This is us here. Oh, sorry. Everybody's down here. Hey, he loves us. This is our group. There's a car. Look at all the gear. Ah, building. 
with a big block for distributing one of the last year. They're filling all the stuff in there. Yes, I'm going to figure out how we drill that hole. One hole for a kid. Two and a half hours. And I look at it and I said, you know what? It's no wonder you got six cars and not one of them was fucking done. I mean, I was pissed. I had a chance. Saving everybody. I put that C4 put together in two hours and ten minutes. There's already a part of the plane in my own right hand.